Well, Kelsey, the musical Broadway show that's being played right now at the Hippodrome is called Ain't Too Proud. It's about the vocal group, The Temptations. And folks who had tickets for tonight's show tell me last night's shooting wasn't going to keep them from going. But having said all of that, people who live and work in that very same area do say they wish it were safer, especially at night. Gunshots outside the Hippodrome Theater Wednesday night as a Broadway musical played inside just steps away. Just the fact that it happened in front of the Hippodrome. In Baltimore, no, not surprised. On the corner of Utah and Baltimore streets, police found a 25 year old man suffering from gunshot wounds. They say he was approached by suspects before the shooter fired and ran. I always pay attention when I come to the city because this is the reality of Baltimore these days and it's sad. I just wish it didn't have to be that way. The realities are what dictate when downtown resident Denise Marshall says she goes outside. We definitely don't go out at night. Carolyn and Steve arriving at the Hippodrome Thursday to see the show say the shooting won't keep them away. It doesn't bother me at all. We live outside in the suburbs and so we come into the town to come go to shows and things like that. And other theater goers agree. I grew up here like when I was a kid and then we moved um, we moved to the suburbs and so like I've always been pretty comfortable in Baltimore. Across the street many are grabbing a bite to eat before the show at Forno Restaurant. That, that doesn't happen that often here. Manager Taylor says despite Wednesday's shooting, it's a safe area. People really do like love coming here and like they come from Annapolis, from Pennsylvania, like all over, like, you know what I mean? So people aren't really, I feel like, afraid to come here, which is good. Yeah. And, and they shouldn't be. Before Denise, who is also heading to the show tonight. People are afraid to come into the city. The city should be better ensuring everyone's safety. There is a real problem in Baltimore right now and it's disheartening to see things like, you know, a lot of money being put into reimagining the inner harbor when the reason people don't come down here is because it's not safe. And Vic, an update tonight from police about that 25-year-old victim. He is expected to be okay, suffering from non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting live, I'm Amy Ramos for WJZ.